short instructional video was produced for new owners of the very popular Lang 36-inch smoker cooker. As you become experienced in using your Lang, you'll develop variations of the following technique. But for beginners, this is a great starting point. The Lang 36 has the smallest firebox and cooking area of all the Lang units. It heats up quicker, meaning that the temperature can easily rise beyond your desired amount. A lot of recipes call for 225 or 250 degrees to cook low and slow. The first thing you want to do is get the right size wood. Standard cut firewood is generally too big, so you should take this type of wood and split it vertically into thirds at the least. Some people prefer to also cut the wood horizontally in half, but it's not really a necessary step. The vertically split wood should fit just fine in the firebox. Some Lang users live in geographic areas that may not have access to firewood all year round, while other Lang users sometimes find themselves needing some last minute firewood in a pinch. In these instances, stores like Lowe's or Home Depot certainly come in handy. They offer different types of bagged wood, and while they tend to be more expensive, they're generally the perfect size for a Lang 36. Some people even begin their fire with split firewood and then rely on bagged wood later on to sustain the fire more easily. It's all trial and error to find what works best for you. Fire bricks are another product used to help control the temperature and limit the amount of firewood that you use. They can be placed in the bottom of the firebox, but some Lang users also like to place them along the sides and on the top of the outside of the box itself. A good rule of thumb is to let your initial fire burn for around an hour before you start cooking. This will allow you to get your temperature under control and have the entire unit heated up evenly, allowing for less temperature fluctuation. As we mentioned before, the smaller units tend to heat up much faster while adding more wood. To minimize these temperature spikes, only add one or two pieces of wood at a time to the existing fire and keep your eye on the gauge. If the temperature rises more than 50 degrees, open the door of the unit for about 30 seconds and close the side vents on the firebox about halfway. This should quickly rein the heat back in. Again, this whole process is trial and error, but at least you get to enjoy some delicious barbecue while you experiment. Once you develop a good and steady process, your results will keep getting better and better. So have fun, and here's to cooking on a Lang. We're cooking on a Lang.